George VI, or as he was known to his family, Bertie, a nickname of his real first name, Albert, wasn't supposed to be king. That was supposed to be the role of his older brother, Edward. He was still second in line to the throne, so when Edward abdicated in 1936, George became king. George's success at steering the monarchy away from the abdication crisis his brother created in 1936 laid down the groundwork for the reputation of the British monarchy as it is today. George VI is most remembered as a dutiful and admired king, taking Britain through World War II with the resolve to be there for his people. He was also admired all over the world, and as well as being the first British monarch to visit the United States in 1939, he was also a friend of Franklin D. Roosevelt. Despite having physical issues as a child, he suffered from knocked knees, which meant he had to wear splints, and into his adulthood, where he suffered from persistent stomach problems and lung cancer from his heavy smoking. He was an athletic and sporty prince. He even played doubles tennis at Wimbledon in 1926. He was married to Lady Elizabeth Bowes Lyon in 1923, later more famously known as the Queen Mother. He had to ask for a hand three times before she accepted, and the newly created BBC asked if they could broadcast the marriage ceremony on the radio. The royal family declined the opportunity. It would not be the case when his daughter, Elizabeth, married 24 years later. At his coronation, the St Edward's crown was put on his head the wrong way round by the Archbishop of Canterbury. The crown almost never got to his head at all, as the Dean of Westminster stumbled down some steps on the way to Westminster Abbey, nearly smashing it to pieces. George had a stammer which is most famously depicted by Colin Firth in the film The King's Speech. His relationship with Lionel Logue was real, and it was forged after George's botched speech on Halloween in 1925 that prompted the quirky Australian speech therapist to help him out. George never completely got rid of his stammer, but his confidence grew with Logue's help, and his slow, steady speaking pattern gave the right sort of gravitas at times of great turmoil, especially in World War II. Thank you everybody for watching this Six Facts video. If you like it, don't forget to like the video and share it with the hashtag TeamStructor. And if you like the channel as a whole, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you know when a new video comes out.